Hey guys, this video is going to be about negative space. For those that don't know uh, exactly know what negative space is, uh, negative space is, uh, first of all, it's critical for white toner and the DTF processes. Um, and the best way to describe it is uh, breaking up your artwork where, where initially it'll, you take a picture, it's going to be full of color. Uh, one solid piece of or one solid picture uh the whole thing is going to be layered with ink with ink and what creating negative space does it separates that those sections of ink in there kind of breaks it up so it gives the shirt itself uh breathability it helps with stretchability and the overall feel of the shirt makes it less heavy Okay, uh, here's an example. There, there are multiple ways to create negative space. Um, uh, m matter of fact, this is a transfer that uh, I created or a graphic that I created, and um, it is uh, I created transparency with this to create negative space. Uh, and I'll also once I get take enter this into the rip, I'll probably add a variable. Uh, what is it called variable holes or whatever in it uh, or rasterization where you'll have uh, larger dot you have dots or something in, in larger dots in the more transparent areas and again less dots as it, you get more of a solid areas um, and it's a lot more pleasing to the eye when you do it that way uh, this is the example what it'll look like on the back of a shirt um, so if, if you notice um, now this, at, in the beginning, again, you could barely see anything. You didn't see a whole lot of, um, it, it didn't look like much. Now once you put it on the back, uh, black shirt, that black fills in for the black that was, in, that was in, originally in the picture. And it brings all the details and everything back in. And again, that aids in uh, creating negative space and the feel of the shirt. All right, and here's another example, and this is actually what I think we're going to be working on right here. Okay, this process here is actually creating a grunge effect um, everywhere. If you notice, this is this was originally one solid piece, and the grunge effect actually is the black in here. That's actually the shirt. Again, um, matter of fact, let me show you what that's going to look like. Okay, when you take it, uh, take that black background off, you will see all the white areas, how that image has been broken up. And again, that's going to aid in the uh, feel, uh, give it a better feel, give it better breathability, and just um, uh, just overall, just um, give it a better just a feel. The stretch, it'll, it'll stretch, it'll, it'll hold up a lot longer. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm going to um, kind of rush through this and uh, show you how I did this, how I go about it. There, We're just going to work on the grunge effect in this video. Um, there are multiple ways to add a grunge. You can actually add it inside the rip. I prefer to do it in Photoshop and uh, photo editing uh, uh, software. Uh, so let's get started. I pretty much already have all my... Mm, the tools that I'm going to be using, the assets and everything I'm going to be using, download it. Not going to show you how to do that. Uh, but for the record, you can just do Google searches for grunge backgrounds. Uh, and, and typically, I like to look for a pure white background, uh, grunge um, background with black or pure black um, artifacts in it or graphic. Matter of fact, here you go. Uh, whereas this right here is pure black, pure white, and that black in here is going to be, it's going to overlay over the image, and then we're going to merge it to the image essentially, and then once it's all one piece, we're going to take that black out. And the white, you'll never see the white. Uh, it's going to act as though the white is not even in the in this image right here. It's just going to remove the black from the image. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is I need to open up the, uh, the artwork. Uh, or actually, let's go ahead and close some of this stuff here. Uh, close, close, and I think I can close this. Uh, let's close that. Uh, what is it? Yes. 
close and that's left with this okay we'll leave that open because we're going to need that in a second okay so we're going to create a new document mm, one of the things that you want to be sure of is when you do create new documents that you're working in over a 300 uh, resolution and you uh, have 300 resolution and you want to work in color mode of CMYK so let's create it my images are always going to open my, uh, my work is always going to open up in what am I trying to say uh, ew, that didn't open up right I'm not even sure I wasn't paying attention to what I actually opened up so I'm going to open up uh, another document and give me one second here guys uh, CMYK I should have known when it was uh grayscale okay so this is at 300 resolution cmyk so we're going to open that up 13 by 19. all right so now we have it open um now we need to go ahead and get the artwork again again i've already downloaded it and let me bring that up file place embedded and we'll go into downloads i think it's sitting in there and we're going to use this image here now my image is always open in camera raw. I have it set to open in camera raw. Uh, there are many reasons that I do that, but one, it gives me uh, a good clarity uh, and contrast. I walk in adjusting, grabbing, and pulling the clarity uh, and contrast, which will help with uh, uh, separating backgrounds and different things of that nature. So uh, I'm going to leave it just since we're just doing a video here. We'll talk. We can talk about that later. At a later time, but for now, we we'll just accept those uh, that image the way it is. Uh, we're going to expand this image. I'm going to open it up as wide as it'll go in this uh, 13 by 19 artboard. Okay, and I'll accept that. I'm going to pull it down to the bottom, and there we are. So, one of the things that I do want to move, um, I'm going to remove this right here. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, removing this watermark we're going to use the polygon lasso tool and I'm going to put a little box around this and once I do that I'll use content aware field and what that's going to do is take samples around the area and fill that in right here you'll never know it was there so I'm gonna this. Uh, first thing I also need to duplicate this little well I'll uh just uh, rasterize this later so I can work on it. Normally I would duplicate this so if anything were to happen I have a backup of it but this is just uh, for an example so we'll just wait and uh, breeze through this. So we're going to use content aware fill. It's already selected here. That simple you click it in a few seconds you'll notice that it'll be gone. Alright so it's gone. All right, never there. All right, so now what we want to do is go ahead and add that grunge. Uh, to do that, you're going to need to download a grunge background. Um, again, I kind of explained all you have to do is do a Google search, find it, uh, Google search of uh, grunge background, and you'll have plenty of options to choose from. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up. Well, it's already open that I remember. Okay, it's already open, so. It's going to open up in a separate, separate doc, as a separate document, and once we have it open, we want to uh, we, we want to actually select it all. You get the you see the marching ants going around the whole document, and then we want to copy it. So Control A to um, Control the Command A to select it all, and Control the Command C to copy it. Okay, once that's done, let's go back to our document. Uh, we want to now. Make sure that the actual artwork is we're on the artwork layer and then we want to come down here and click on layer mask so we want to add a layer mask to that layer once that's done we want to go over to channels we want to go down to the mask channel uh, turn it on and then just paste that document that we copied into here uh, and you'll know that it's in because it'll normally be kind of have a red overlay to it. And now once we have that, we just want to 
expand that or pull it out beyond the actual artwork. So to do that, control T and want to turn off uh, aspect ratio lock and just drag it outside of it. All right. And I'm going to take it up just a little bit more just in case. All right. So once we do that, we want to accept those changes. And that's pretty much it, guys. All we need to do at this point is turn off this, uh, turn off the eye. And if you notice, uh, the grunge effect is in. We'll go back to the main layer, and boom, it's there. All right. So from here, um, what we can do, is we can apply that layer mask to the image by uh, to the image by right clicking and click on apply uh, to image and apply layer mask I'm not quite sure what that title is but again let's remove this and boom there you go it's just that simple